Hello, dear traders, it's me Kate Stikina and you are watching InstaForex TV channel. Today, traders are focusing on the outcome of the Fed monetary policy meeting. Ahead of the FOMC decisions and conclusions, trading was rather sluggish. L futures were also stuck in a tight range. The commodity prices came off yesterday slow and returned to the recent levels. Thus, the brand crude benchmark was hovering near the level of $62. Per barrel. L futures managed to get back to the upper boundary of the range amid the news about the OPEC Plus deal. Reportedly, the members of the pact reached a compromise and postponed the meeting until July 1st, 2nd. At the meeting, they plan to discuss prolongation of the output cuts that are intended for balancing the oil prices growth. At the same time, this news encouraged buyers of WTI futures. The West Texas Intermediate Benchmark advanced at the fastest pace in the past several months, having added about 260 pips in just a few hours. WTI were hurrying near the level of $54 per barrel. Today, the year's crude oil inventories report is scheduled for release. The report is expected to show a decline in the stockpiles. Further on, the decision of the Federal Reserve to ease the monetary policy can also provide support to oil prices. If the Federal Open Market Committee announces plans to cut the interest rate this year, it may boost the rally on the stock markets. This way, businesses will rejoice at cheaper credits. Therefore, oil prices may also rise as an increase in business activity would mean a higher demand for energy. Ahead of the Fed meeting, the Russian ruble was rising as well. The USD rupiah reached the target level at 64.00 and consolidated in this area. Among other factors that boost the Russian currency are the upcoming tax period in Russia, the cessation of dividend payments and positive expectations of the 20-year office of bond auction, following a rate cut to 7.5% by the Bank of Russia. Besides, geopolitical tensions eased to some extent. The incident in the Gulf of Oman took a back seat. The trade conflict between the United States and China subsides for a while after Donald Trump announced plans to halt negotiations with Xi Jinping at the G20 summit. We keep close tabs on the recent developments on financial markets. Join us and stay abreast of the latest news.